Hello and welcome to Postman tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn about the basics of the Postman interface. So in last tutorial we have seen how you can install Postman and once the Postman is installed, once you launch it, it will bring you to the Postman interface and will cover some of the basic of the postman interface in this tutorial so here if you see in the left hand side this panel here is basically it saves all the history that you do so for example you are sending the requests uh, get post put or delete or patch all the history will be saved in this pane here okay and then you have the collections so collections is nothing but you can collection you can create a group of requests which will make you easier to access a group of requests and then run them together and then there is an apis which is the beta uh, functionality it's not yet released i mean it's released but it's in the beta phase so uh, which is basically uh, to define uh, related collections and environments so that that is the functionality of beta so mostly you'll be utilizing uh, the history and collections to start with and then later we can look into the APIs as well. Now in the launch pad you'll see that you have the option to start something new. You can create a request, you can create a collection or you can create an environment. If you click on view more you'll see that whatever postman functionality we discussed um, features we discussed in the first tutorial you will get all of those here so you can create a documentation mock server or a monitor and then in the customize you have the option to do the light mode or the dark mode okay so whichever suits best for you I'll switch to the light mode and then here you have the toggle to open the launch pad or do not open the launch pad so if you do not if you turn it off next time when you launch postman this launch pad won't open okay so it's up to you whether you want to open or you don't want to open then if you go to more settings these settings are very important you can see here that you can customize postman as per your requirement so like the the key thing that i'll be updating here is the user interface font size because i want you guys to view what i am writing so in, in bigger font so I'll change it to 20 so editor font size will be 20 so rest everything will remain same but when I'm typing in the JSON request or any any data in the body then that will be basically um, in in the bigger font so request and response you'll be able to view clearly then you can have two pane view so that will be basically if you turn it on there will be side by side two pane view uh, I'll turn it off and then you have different themes so theme is nothing but black or white and a dark or light theme and then you have the shortcuts you can customize the shortcuts then you have the data to import and export so basically if you have your collections and monuments global variables you can export the whole data and then import into the other instance of postman then you have certain add-on like newman and npm um, so which we'll cover later as well uh, certificates you can um, import the certificates you can set up the proxy uh, if you want to enable the update automatic update you can enable from here and then about is all about the postman so whatever version you are running with which, which OS etc so that gives you a detail so I'm currently making this tutorial on version 7.13.0 and which is for Mac. So that's a brief about the settings. Here at the right side, you'll see in the launch pad, you have the templates that you can use or the APIs that are available. So these are some of the templates and public APIs that might be helpful. So if you if you want to practice on the APIs or templates, you can quickly browse more and select the templates and you can also practice on that. I won't be going into any of these APIs as of now and what i'll do is i'll click on create a request and then walk you through the interface of the uh, request as well so once you click on create request right so it will open a new tab here and then this is the request um, that that you 
get in the postman so here you have the different methods right which is a drop down so get post put patch delete and then you need to enter the url or the endpoint as we discussed and then you have the parameters so parameters is something say for example you are searching some value in or searching some text in google.com so google.com is your endpoint right and then when you are searching some value say for example you are writing a text so that text you, you need to pass in a web service you need to pass it as a parameter with uh, with the key and value pair okay so we'll cover the parameters in detail when when we are going to do get post put and delete and the next thing is the authorization so authorization is basically say for example there are not there, there are many apis like google api or twitter api or uh, asana api that i'll be uh, taking with some examples and i've also explained that asana api in soap ui tutorial as well so those all require the authorization so you can't directly hit them without any um, authorization so they need to know that who is actually going to access or who is accessing those apis right so in that case you need the authorization or you need your credentials to basically pass and get the information that you are looking for so that's where you set up your authorization and there are different authorizations available so you can have the api key OAuth 1 or 2 aws signature etc so that's brief about the authorization then you have the headers so headers will be passed as part of the request then you have the body say for example you have to create a record so like in the in an employee management system you want to access a web service and then pass on the employee details to create a record in the database so how will you do that so you have to pass the details in the body okay and then there are different uh, options available so you can have the none or form data so form data is nothing but say for example like in the html page in the form you provide the details and then there is a possibility to do some attachments as well then if you are passing data like that you select the form data there okay and then provide key value pair and description then you can have the uh, form url encoded uh, or raw form so mostly like we have will be seeing that will be passing data in the json format okay so for the rest request will be formatting the data in the raw format and then we will be selecting the format as json or javascript or html or xml so the moment you will see we will select the draw it will give the option what sort of data or the format you are going to send so mostly will be following the json format so i'll cover all these things in detail this is just to give you a brief about the interface so don't worry a lot about the the details of these things at, at the moment and then you can you have the binary format as well say for example you want to um, send the image or something then you can simply select the file and postman provides you the functionality to provide uh, to send the binary format as well then postman also provides you the ability with graphql that is in beta phase so graphql is the query language for apis we'll cover a brief about the graphql as well in this tutorial so that's about the body then you have the pre-request um, uh, script which is mostly utilized um, like you can get the snippets of getting a variable or the global variable so these if you select any of these it will give uh, the snippet or the code snippet that you can utilize in your testing then you have the tests wherein you write your test cases and the settings okay so settings you basically the request settings you can do the from the settings menu here okay so that's uh, a brief about the interface then you have if you want to send any requests for example get request you provide the url and you provide the parameters if they are required and hit the send request if you want to save the request click on save and or save as 
okay now if you would have noticed that i haven't signed in yet so i would highly recommend you to sign into postman and if you don't have an account please create one because it will help you to save all the work that you do in postman and then you won't be able to um, then you won't be losing your hard work that, that you'll be doing so create an account and then we'll sign in so to create an account what you can do is you can just click on sign in and if you don't have the postman account you it will just uh, redirect you to the sign in page if you don't have an account click on create account use your email to create your account or sign up using your google account so once you have signed up in postman then you can log in and save all your work that you are building in postman so that's pretty much all about the postman interface introduction and how you can go ahead and sign up so in next tutorial we'll see a bit more details about the interface and then we'll trigger the first request in postman so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching